that means. Hey! Oh shh! He's gonna just kill himself. The hammer falls. The hammer has fallen. The hammer felleth. Okay. Well, that was. It, it didn't end like I thought it would. I don't know why I thought it would end differently than that, but regardless, it's over. I hope. <laughs> I hope we're gonna go give someone else a little, a little bit of hope now. We can always just grab things and evaluate them later. But then you yell at me for grabbing too much. Oh my god. I like her. She's my friend. Okay. Quantum essence. Why did I get a quantum essence? Um. I'm really concerned. I know in the beginning of this I saw a starborn ship landing. And I just gained a quantum essence. And usually I get that when I kill a starborn. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Monkey snot. Oh boy. Oh shit. I'm sorry. Good boy. Oh, now you're on fire. It's my fault. Let me blow on that for you. <laughs> oh, need a moment to walk that off? <laughs> no, we're good. Ain't no walking. Gonna heal a broken leg. You know, Walter was doing that earlier. You guys have some weird witchery, witchcraft. Is that how you control the thing? Vasco, long time no see. I'm sorry, guys. I have a little bit of a cold. Mm. All right, Vasco. You want to fly? All right, guys. So what we know so far, Ron Hopewell is at the center of this all, just like I thought. I knew that guy was bad. He just had that vibe. All right, what do you guys think we should do? I mean, I know what we should do. I guess the question is, is what should we not do? I don't want to hear any complaints. Yeah, well, neither do I. I'm surprised I'm not checking in with uh, my sheriff. <laughs> oh no, I'm setting off the security. Wonder why. 
You ever check out the prices at Trino? You could buy like a fleet of Hope Peg ships for the same price. Ron John, where you is, buddy? Oh, you're up here. Hey. That's very generous, Mr. Hope. It's well earned, Burkett. We set some I ambitious quotas. You can't protect you your own. You met every one. You belong here. Well, I won't pretend it was easy, but everyone pulled together and we got it done. I'll let you share the good news whenever and however you like. Thanks. I appreciate that. Wait a minute, lady. You missed the tour? Yeah, this is where it happens. Listen, I ain't exactly customer-facing, so just go on your way and neither of us will get in trouble. You do? Well, I guess we'll see. So here is the factory floor where you get to see me wrangle a bunch of morons into, oh, I don't know, doing their damn job. She's rude. What's with all the girls in this game? Except for Andreja, she's like... And Sarah Morgan. She's pretty cool, too. But most of them are... This here Just is a evil. sausage factory. You don't even want to know the pain that goes into making one of these. But you'll appreciate the end result. Guaranteed. If you want to ask questions, make it quick. We got a tight sales coming pitch. up. Halva was just some nowhere dead ender until Ron Hope had a dream. Let's build sturdy, dependable ships. No nonsense, none of that damn time. Yeah, just yeah, a yeah, ship yeah. that flies right and will get you where you need to go. Ron Hope's a goddamned hero. I disagree. Yeah, yeah, bye already. Yeah, yeah, go and get you, sir. Let's Something have words. Oh, yeah. Good to see you. Oh, you're gonna wipe that well, smirk off your, your face. From the marshal about your progress, he said you had a promising lead on the mercenaries who stole my ship. I trust you're here with good news. Did you now? Oh, I did. Well, don't keep me in suspense. No, and I don't care for the insinuation. Oh, the, the same Paxton Hull who was court-martialed during the Colony War? Well, I, I've never Maybe. met the man, and, and I can't imagine why he'd make an accusation against me. Don't presume to question me. You know who I am. Dirty rotten scoundrel, that's who you are. I see. Oh. <laughs> I'm impressed, deputy. It's clear you have a bright future ahead of you. What's going on? What is this about, Mr. Hope? Nothing that concerns you, Birgit. In fact, why don't you make yourself scarce? I think I'd like to hear what the deputy has to say. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I want to say this, but... Of course. Of course. Allow me to explain and... You'll see that I certainly did. The truth is, we've been falling behind the competition. <laughs> Significantly so. We needed solutions. A few years ago, I began to diversify. We started to research chemicals, fuel, those sort of things. We developed an experimental fertilizer. <laughs> and it failed utterly. It wiped out entire crops. I was prepared to write the whole thing off when we made a discovery that changed everything. 
Turns out, our fertilizer was transforming the soil, bolstering its mineral content tenfold. We donated the fertilizer to select homesteads and let the farmers do the work. And when the time was right, we cleared the farm and brought in machinery to harvest the mineral-rich soil. The reduction in labor and materials costs sent my profits soaring. You sit on the Council of Governors. You betrayed the very people you are supposed to represent. I wish there'd been another way. But I had to play the hand I was dealt. Now you gotta pay that hand. Boom. Look. I'll level with you. We're falling behind the competition. The hardworking people of this town depend on me for their livelihoods. And I won't let them down. Cutting my costs means saving their jobs. I can't believe what I'm hearing. How could you do something so, so awful to innocent people, to families? Not another word out of you, Birgit. I can take your job and more. We'll discuss this later. In any case, I suppose the gig is up. If you you're right of course something must be done I'll set up a fund to handle funeral expenses and take care of any surviving family members we'll do this the right way I give you my word Nope. You're right. Yeah. Those families deserve to be compensated for the uh, inconvenience. Hmm. Well, uh, perhaps a discount on their next purchase from Hope Tech. They might not be so keen to purchase a ship built with the blood of their compatriots. With that resolved, let's talk about you. No. As a member of the Council of Governors, I'm authorized to award you a substantial bonus. No. And of course, we'll both agree to forget about my little cost-cutting endeavor. No. Well, let's not be too hasty, Deputy. Yes. There's something else you need to consider. I'll do what's necessary to protect my company and my employees. Oh, yeah? If you tell anyone about this, you're risking their livelihoods. Do you really want to put all these people out of work and make their families suffer? I don't think suffer? you're the reason they're doing as good as they are. But on a much larger scale, yes. What a dick. I want justice. Justice can be complicated, deputy. Sometimes the cost of exacting justice is greater than the cost of doing nothing. I'll make myself very plain. I won't let you jeopardized my reputation, this company, or the people who work for me. If that means you suffer an unfortunate incident now we're talking. at the hands of my security personnel, so be it. I'm important. You're nothing. You're not actually threatening to attack a Free Star Ranger, are you? You have overestimated your position, Mr. Hope.
You just threatened a member of the Council of Governors. You're not about the I law, buddy. You. You're stripped of rank. Declared an outlaw. Guards! Yes. Dispose of this criminal. Ooh. All right, you can do this one of two ways. You can come with me. Oh, you're already stuck in a ladder. Let's talk it out. Come on, lady. It's okay. It's okay. Put your gun down. I cannot wait. Jesus, headshots. She's tough. Oh, come on. Sorry. Man, you really could have... You really could have uh, played the game here. Oh well. Burgett. Sorry, buddy. You you did it to yourself. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. I got you. I got you. You're fine. We're okay. He tried to have you killed. Yeah, we're all good. Understand. Mr. Hope always seemed like such a good person. But everything he said about the farmers and hiring those mercenaries... It was so awful. He never seemed that complicated to me. He always looked out for us, for his employees. I know what I just heard and saw, but he was a friend. No, he was more like a father. Should she be mad since I killed him? You, you killed him. He tried to kill me. <laughs> Nobody should ever want that, especially when it means killing someone who meant so much to so many people. <sighs> what happens to us now? I think you're the boss now. That's... That would be... Elana. Elana Nwankwo. She seems pretty capable. Maybe... Maybe we'll be okay after all. I think you will. I guess... We'll have to figure things out. Find a path forward. Now give me a ship. No? Damn. Ah, we tried. I should probably spend some time searching this place, but I don't wanna. It's okay, I didn't steal nothing. Just unfortunate circumstances surrounding your boss there. So good. Off world. Good to see you back safe, Deputy. What's the word on the mech factory? Were the mercenaries hiding out there? Oh, yeah. I take it that they weren't too much trouble for you, given that you're standing here. Did you find out why the first was taking over farms? You know, first I want to say thank you for the backup. Really appreciated it. Came in handy. You have no idea. I couldn't have made it without it. What? Ron Hope? 
Well, that's one hell of an accusation, Deputy. Are you really that surprised? Hope's always had a reputation as a man who'd do anything to succeed. He's on the damn council, Emma. So he can make laws favorable to his business interests. Sure, he's known to look after his people, but do you really think he gives a damn about some farmers on Montara Luna? Did Hope explain his motives at all? That has a familiar ring to it. I recall hearing about some Hope Tech initiative to help farmers. At the time, I just figured it was a PR stunt. Seems a little more sinister now. Please, tell me you've got some evidence to back up these extraordinary... Damn, I should have got some evidence. Oh, wait. I did. All right, let's see what you've got. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, this is pretty damning. Especially this last bit about destroying the slate. And you confronted Hope about this? Mm-hmm. Sounds like his pride got the best of him. Damn. This is going to send shockwaves throughout the Free Star Collective. It's all good. If the people can't trust their leaders, anarchy could follow. Have a little faith, Daniel. We're not the United Colony. One bad apple won't spoil the whole damn barrel. Easy for you to say. You ain't the marshal. Not yet, but you ain't gonna live forever, old man. <laughs> While we've got you here, there's one last piece of business to take care of. Emma. Give me my damn you, ship. Please? With pleasure, Marshal. When you first joined us, I told you that you'd undergo an evaluation process. There's one thing left to do. A simple question. Do you feel ready to wear the badge of a full-fledged free star ranger? Sure. Good. Duty and honor are the backbone of the Freestar Rangers. Marshal, I approve the deputy for advancement to the rank of Ranger. Thank you, Ranger Wilcox. In your time serving as a deputy, you've shown exceptional courage, fearless tenacity, and a high regard for the safety of our citizens. By the authority granted to me by the Council of Governors, I hereby promote you to the rank of Ranger. Here's your badge. Wear it with pride. But don't forget the solemn responsibility it represents. Well done. Hey, <laughs> it's about damn time. You've shown that faith was well placed. Let's hear it for our new Ranger. Yeah! Woo! That's it. Job, oh, oh! <gasps> As a full fledged Freestar Ranger, you have been granted your very own Star Eagle class starship with no registration fee required. <laughs> oh, damn! That is awesome! Welcome to the rock. 14,000 credits. I got a bunch of stuff that's making me got to admit, heavy. I'm impressed how fast you made full Ranger. Thank you, Helga. All right, can you talk to me now? Are you still hung up on the Starborn? It has been a while since I have felt this. How do I fix her? I need to break out my old friend Late Google. Late one night, Annie Wilcox tried to arrest me for public indecency. She'll be a terror once she grows up. Well, I mean, were you indecent in public? Because, you know... It's probably a thing. Always painting two roses. All right, all right. I am so excited to see my ship, the ship that I have been waiting for. Well, it's been for days at this point because I don't get to play this as often as I want. Ugh, I'm over encumbered. <laughs> Got my fitness all upgraded here. Where's the ship tech?
spaceport has been evac'd. We can still take care of your ship. Okay, no problem. All right, let me see my new ship. Can I sell you? I don't like you. Yeah, anyway. Oh. Oh, there's my new ship, you guys. I'm so excited. Oh, it's huge. If I could check out our new ship. Let's go! <laughs> oh, that was <clears throat> quite a leap. Yes. Yes, it was. Oh, awesome. All right, friends, for anybody that's watching, if you want this new ship, the, the Star Eagle, these are the missions that have to be completed. They are in order from bottom to top. So it starts with where hope is built to the hammer falls. You get this by doing the Freestar Collective missions on Aquila. You go to the rock, you speak to Emma Wilcox. Emma Wilcox will send you on a, a trial mission, which you can see several videos ago. Um, I will try to label them all as Freestar Collective if you want to go back and watch any of those. It was fun. It was real. Hell, it was real fun. So on that note, we're going to wrap this up tonight. Um, we got ourselves a beautiful new ship with some amazing compa uh, carry capacity. And we've got a lot more, I, I believe, we can do. The shields are, um, are, are incredibly stronger. The weapons are much higher. Uh, I imagine the grav drive will let us go further. Uh, so we're going to explore this ship on our next episode. We're going to go do some uh, various odds and ends. We're going to try to get some materials to increase our weapons, our spacesuits, etc. And if you're still with me, I really hope you're enjoying my videos. I'd love it if you'd leave comments. What don't you like? What would you like to see more of? Otherwise, you all have a wonderful evening. Take care.